Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Colleen from Get Art Creations. Thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to make a few fun, simple envelopes. Um, you're looking at this journal here very quickly. Uh, I plan to do a, a video just after I do the envelope video to do a flip through. I finished this baby up a couple of days ago, and I think I'll do a little flip through because it's kind of fun. It's full of uh, lots of little nuggets coming out the top and on the sides and uh, obviously quite typical of the way my journals end up looking. So we'll do this one after after the envelope video today. So yeah, I was inspired um, perusing YouTube a few days ago. Uh, Pam from the Paper Outpost. She has so many awesome ideas. I've made these in the past, but she inspired me to get my scraps out and make some more. So these are basically, um, I guess you would call them, besides this one, because this is just the shape of an actual envelope, but these are um, like coin style envelopes. They're really easy and it's a great way to use up your off cuts or your um, printables or just book pages or whatever you have on hand. Um, and I'm just going through a box to use up scraps that I've just need to get rid of so this is one style envelope and they're very simple so stick around this is a coin style envelope you can stick a little tag in there so you'll see um, this style with the flap and then there's this style without the flap like I'll show you how to do it's very very simple but these just make really nice envelope tucks in journals and this is a side, a side envelope. You don't have to make it a side. You could do it straight up, depending on the page or the, the shape of your journal, etc. The, the size of your journal. Um, and if it's too tall or too big for the actual page, oftentimes I'll, I'll put a, um, a hinge and I use it as flip outs. And this is another one. So yeah, they make really cute envelopes. And I just thought, I'm gonna show you guys quickly. For those of you who have not made one, many of you probably have. But, uh, and these are decently large. I was too lazy to cut the pages down. So I just kind of used what I had and I worked with the actual size of the paper. So let's make some ourselves here. So I'm gonna use this one first. I like the, uh, print on it. Um, so for the the larger one as opposed to the rectangular shaped, we're going to do this shape right now. So instead of your sheet, which normally you would have it this way, if you're going to make the tubular tall ones, um, you would just, you know, make it vertical, but we're going to do it this way. So you turn over your page, whatever side print you have that you want showing, and you just fold in the middle. You, you want to try to get as your uh, your lines decently straight, just so that you don't have overlapping um, corners. And so we're making a tube. That's all we're doing. We're not going to go all the way over. We're just just enough to kind of um, glue glue uh, attach it without. Um, of course, I use my uh, bone folder because. I think that's not even straight. Ah, it's good enough. No, that's not good enough. I need to do this straighter than that. I guess if your uh, sheet doesn't come out of your printer perfectly straight, but you know what? We're going with this. It's no big deal. So then all we're going to do is just glue right along this outer edge here. So now we've just made a tube. That's the first step. Just make sure that the glue holds. Okay, so then we are going to open it up a little bit. And, and so now um, with, the, with the crease that you've just made, find the two points of the crease down the middle of your page and line it up and just sort of tap this down a bit. 
because now we're going to, I think we're going to make the fold over one here. So the fold over flap. So we're going to go about, I don't know, two, two or three inches down. And I'm going to start from here and I'm going to cut right to the corner of this side. So remember, I just don't want to do this too fast. So here's your tube that you've just glued together. Open it up, squish it down and meet the creases together. And then take your scissors and meet from this side, from the right side up to the left corner. And then there you go. So you're gonna have a nice little piece here left over. You use it on your journal pages somewhere. Don't throw it out. So now take this down as far as you want, depending on what size flap you want. So this is all very subjective. You're gonna probably make it according to what you're gonna use or what journal you're gonna use. So as you can see, there's the front and there's the flap, but now we're gonna fold up and make the, the bottom the uh, coin envelope style at the bottom here. So I have folded it up. And now what I'm gonna do is fold it over, meet the corners, and you're just gonna take your scissors and cut the corners here so that you can fold up. See how that goes here? Now, what I do is you don't have to because ultimately you're gonna glue this down. Now, but what I do is just to to uh, remove the bulk of my envelope, I just cut this piece down. Just makes it less bulky. And just glue it over. Like so. So now we've just made a quick, simple envelope. You can embellish it. I'm not going to do that. As you can see, I did it on this one because it's a plain page. So I used my stamp and I stamped the back and I did some coffee staining inside the envelope. But so that's the first style. Very simple. Okay, so now we're going to make this one. So let's see. Maybe I'll use this sheet here. Okay, so now instead of turning your page this way, I'm going to use the tall side. We're going to fold and make a tube using the tall, the tall side of the page. So fold it over here and just fold it over just enough to secure it shut. Be more accurate if you want, but I just do it very quickly here. So let the glue grab. All right, so, and again, this is a flap. Maybe what we'll do is we will do this style without the flap. Okay, so to do that, now you're going to open up the tube and crease this together so they meet up. So last time we went from the right side straight up to the top left corner. We're going to do it at the same side, the right side, but we're only going to meet up to this crease here. So now we're going to fold up the bottom and then we're going to fold it in and cut off the little corners here. I hope this is making sense for you guys. And because this is uh, very light, it's just copy paper. I'm not even going to bother cutting this piece down because it's not very bulky. It's not cardstock. So we're just going to glue it down like so. Put 
better glue that a little bit better here. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my foam folder to make a bit of noise. And there we have it. Simple, simple. Perry Como. <laughs> That's really cool. We were, my husband and I were listening to Perry Como on our um, smart TV the other night. Great singer. Okay, I digress. So this is done. So we've done this style and we've done this style without the flap. They make nice uh, pockets. Now we shall make, uh, let's see. Yeah, basically they're, the, they're it's the same thing for all your, um, the same two methods really. So let's, let's do this. Oh, I like the print on this. So we're going to do a quick one here again. We're going to do the tall side of the sheet. And we're going to just fold it enough so that I can glue it shut. So we're gluing just the outer edge. I'm hoping that I'm catching all of this in camera. Yes, I am. Okay. I need to glue my, my needle up. You can hear the garbage truck. Okay, so done my tube, made my tube. Now we're going to open it up, find the crease, line it up. And let's do a flap. So right to left corner. So the farther down that you start from your right side here, the, the larger the um, entrance for your tag. Well, you can, just so it doesn't butt up against the uh, flip the top of the flap. That's up to you, how, however big or much, however much space you want to make. All right, and let's fold up the bottom. And then, so basically you're folding it in. Take your scissors. many things and ideas for us paper paper nerds yeah that's kind of cool I mean I would put a nice embellishment here um, just because I like to decorate so I'll just quickly show you again how you can decorate so it was basically like that and then I just added a, an off cut of uh, a printable I used in the journal that I'm going to show you and a stack of butterfly here on the flap so you can uh, embellish any way you want, using up whatever you have. I've got some word fatty and a piece of ribbon here. I have <clears throat> these types of things on my desk, a few jars of stuff like this that I like to use, use up. So we got that one. We made this one today. This is the one I showed you. This is the one we made. I put a nice Let's put a journaling card in there. Let's see what I got. And here we go. Fits perfectly. So we made that one. And then there's this one. Actually, 
This is too small, but you can fit a really large tag in there. I wish I had one on hand here. Let's see, maybe I do. This is decently large. There we go. You can put a nice ribbon in it so it's popping out. So that's that, and then there's this one. And these last two. So there you go. You can make a plethora of envelopes using your pages and sheets and book pages. You don't have to buy them from the store. You can make them yourself and, uh, and have fun while you're doing it. So um, hopefully this inspires you guys to make a few envelopes on your own. And um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I will uh, see you in my next video of the flip through. Bye for now.